Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike once again back out to Fency's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fency's Flea Market is to check out the video game Movie oh, yeah. Dome, aka Pamela's, because I've got stuff to trade in. I believe she actually has a bunch of stuff on hold for me. Do you have anything on hold? She just actually texted me and said oh, she has something. Oh, so apparently Mike has some, a, a mystery thing. We'll find I don't even know what that is. A mystery thing, um, thing on hold for him. It's actually very cold outside right now, yeah. so we're going to go inside, get warmed up, trade some stuff in, get some good movies. I'm just looking forward to the heat. Pamela! She is here here this time unlike last week where we, we walked in there was there was nobody here it was a it was a ghost town but um she is here today and what the heck is going on behind you there what are you doing to mike warned me he, he's yeah, like I, pam, I think pam got in some some anime <laughs> <laughs> that's not some anime that's that's my like entire collection right <laughs> all right well looks like i'm gonna be going through some some anime maybe crap all right you know what before i even look at any anime what do i actually have on hold because i don't even remember at this point what i have oh oh, oh there's actually something really awesome in here i completely forgot about so this is everything i have on hold including the european blu-ray release of you me and dupree was this even put on blu-ray in the states i, I yeah, think I maybe it has but I, I i never come across this i believe this is actually region free so whatever that is that is awesome i've been looking for a Blu-ray copy of that. That's amazing. Clerks, brand new factory seal, which I already have on Blu-ray, but I have it in a multi-feature set that I want to split up. So that's cool. The assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford just rolls yep. right off the tongue. Have it on HD DVD. So that's an awesome upgrade. And then some biography here. We have um, Lucky Luciano, Fred Gwynn, and uh, the Hatfields and the McCoys, which is awesome. So, all right, some pretty cool stuff there on hold, but I have more store credit now that I actually thought I was going to have. So, do I dive into the anime? Sure may, may, maybe. I'm still just trying to not even think about and look at those anime titles right now. So what what does Mike have on hold? What did you end up having here? Yeah. Oh, Rodan, Rodan on VHS. VHS. Wow, that's actually really awesome. Look at that artwork there. The Rodan attacking the planes and whatnot. That is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so that's... That's cool. I'm kind of surprised you didn't have that, don't you? Have, you have a lot of like the ti or ti Titanic. You have a lot of Titanic VHS tapes. <laughs> I'm trying to like. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to like. I don't know. My brain's not working right now. I'm, I'm looking. I'm just. I'm, I'm blocking the anime from my my side of view because that's all I'm thinking about right now. Godzilla stuff. You have. Don't you have a ton of Godzilla on VHS? But I don't have the VHS. I don't have the VHS over oh, there. Oh, all right. That's that's I pretty awesome. Of, I have a lot of Godzilla. Stuff. Seven bucks. She's doing five. Ooh, she's only doing five. Awesome. So all right. Cool. Cool. Fine. I don't, I don't even want to say, I just don't want, I don't want to go through the anime. <laughs> hey, I can put the anime off for just a little bit longer because Pamela just pulled out some new stuff she just got in and we're seeing some cool things. Like Mike was checking out this. The day the, Mo, what is that? Me, Mezo, 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 Mezozoic. Mezozoic. <laughs> the day the Mezozoic died. That's pretty awesome. There's a, there's a dinosaur there. Brand new factory. Are you picking yeah. that up? Yeah, so it's um, Howard Hughes. Howard Medical Hughes Institute. Medical Institute. That's, I don't know what that has to do with Yeah, what that, what's that have to do with dinosaurs? I don't know. That's interesting. And I'm looking at this biography. Vladimir Putin. I um, I like I like me some biography. So all right, I'm, I'm getting that. You're getting some dinosaurs. I'm just gonna go look at anything but the anime. Pam's little nook over here is really getting full. I'm thinking again, she needs to expand into that section. Maybe I, I'm thinking this whole row needs to be nothing but the video game movie dome, and one of the sections, of course, has to be nothing but VHS tapes. Of course, she needs to separate all her Blu-rays from her DVDs. From her VHS, it'd be it'd be amazing. It's it's gonna happen. Mark my words. It's it's coming. <laughs> Video game movie dome row. But anyway, so she's got a whole bunch of awesome stuff over here in her case as well. I'm seeing some really cool things like the Wolfman, Slam Dunk Ernest. There's a bunch of a bunch of Godzillas. Godzilla, I'm guessing you have, have those. Of, yeah. of course you do. But anyway, lots of Godzillas. Some more anime, of course. I don't know. I'm I'm seeing some interesting things. I'm not necessarily sure if there's anything interesting that I need. Maybe possibly oh she got revenge of the ninja that's actually really cool the best of tears for fears do i do i have that if i don't okay that i might want she really does have a lot of awesome stuff up here there's things like the blob and frog there's some midnight movies releases do you have frogs in your collection yes i do all right well i guess you don't need that then so all right so i don't know there's halloween kills killing zoe i yeah i see a lot of awesome stuff bath salt zombies i have that movie that one's not that one's not very good i wouldn't recommend that one but still it's, it's pretty awesome just the fact that she has something more weird and obscure like that in here yeah there's a lot of 
Awesome stuff. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the keys. So sometimes OCD actually ends yeah. up paying off because Mike here's like, you know what? We have to put all the, all the Godzillas and all the Kongs together because she had a bunch of Godzillas and a bunch of Kong stuff yeah. in here. And it was just driving him nuts. So they weren't, they weren't together on the shelf. And he goes, wait a minute, hold on. Do I actually need this yeah, King Kong here? He doesn't have it. The original 1933 King yeah, Kong, so version. brand new factory seal. Well, of course you have the original 1933 King Kong, but you don't have that release of it. That so release, yeah. look at that. OCD has paid off today. You're picking that up? I think so. Awesome. Pamela also has a ton of Warner Archives DVD-R releases, which is pretty cool. And a year or so ago, I would have been all about buying these. I used to buy every single one of these she got in that I didn't already have, but I just, I know better now. I'm gonna put that right, right back there, not pick it up. It's a whole bunch of stuff I've never heard of. She even has this weird Synergy Archives series release. I've never heard of them. Another DVD-R release of They Call It Murder. I don't know, any good, leave comments down below. I, I still pick this stuff up when I come across it for like a dollar or something like that at a Goodwill because who knows, it could be good. It's it's kind of more rare and obscure, but to spend my store credit on it, nah, it has to be something I, I definitely want. Here's an interesting title. This is Devil's Playground, which apparently is about 16-year-old um, Amish kids going on Rumspringa where they, they decide whether or not they want to live in just the normal society. Yeah. <laughs> normal society. I, I wouldn't even call, I would not call our society normal, but normal society or, um, or Amish society. I guess it follows four different Amish 16 year old kids and they're the craziness that ensues from, yes, from Rumspringa. So I'm, I'm tempted to pick this up. It's uh, going for only, well, is it, is it 12 99 or is it, is it $5? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Pamela is going to charge me only five for this. Maybe I, yeah, I, I I'm going to go with five. I'm hoping so. Um, I don't know. It looks interesting. It's a documentary. I, I love a good documentary. Plus we live right outside of Amish country. So I'm, in, I'm intrigued by this. All right, I'm grabbing this too. Speaking of documentaries, Pamela also has Alone in the Wilderness for only $10. That is a really, really good deal for this. For one of the greatest yes. documentaries I have ever seen. You own it, I, well. I own it. I have the sequel to my collection also, which isn't as good, but still pretty awesome. So this is really cool. If you guys have not seen this, if you guys do not own this, you have to pick it up. And again, $10 is a good deal because this was like a special order through PBS, PBS thing. Yeah, you had to order this specially through PBS just to get that. That's awesome. And then she also has for only $25, still brand new factory sealed country music, a film by Ken Burns, a really, really good documentary series. I've seen it. It is awesome. Whether you're in the country music or not, it's still really, really good. I highly recommend this. $25 is a steal for that. So, I mean, again, Pamela with her amazing selection, her amazing prices. It's stuff I don't need, but I'm still blown away. I've got to be good. I cannot spend all of my store credit today because I have all that anime to go through yet, but I'm finding something else here. This is Macon County Line. This actually sounds really, really awesome. The synopsis has me completely sold on this. And again, it's only $5. So I'm thinking I need to pick this up as well. Comments down below. Are you a fan of this movie? Is it good? Did I, did I do a good job by picking this up? Because I'm, I'm going to pick this up. I need to trade more stuffing because I, I, I know I'm going to want a bunch of that anime. What is Pamela doing to me? I, I turn the corner and she goes, oh yeah, by the way, whole bunch more Warner Archives titles in. Are, are <sighs> Again, I don't really buy this kind of stuff just off the whim anymore, but when I see it, I want it all. I just, I... You're both the best and the worst person ever, but you know what, I, I, I love you. All right, so the good news is I don't actually think I really need any of this stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want all of this stuff, but I'm gonna be good, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna pass on all the DVD-R stuff. But the bad news is, Pam just got in a title that was on my wish list, not on your wish list. She no. did not know you actually needed this, but um, we're, we're gonna have a bit of, little bit of a fist fight here because she just got in The Super, which is uh, a movie that we were both looking for. I, here's the thing though, I technically already own this in a multi-feature set that I'm trying to break up. So the good news is for you, I'm just gonna end up giving you that multi-feature set once I get the other yeah, title to go with it, which is, what was it? Um, with, uh, with Honors. Once I get With Honors, I'll just give you that other set. So you, okay. so you have a copy of this coming to you soon yeah, for free. It's gonna cost you absolutely nothing, but for awesome. uh, for $5 of store credit, I'm, I'm gonna pick up that to split my setup. So I guess in the long run, it's, it's good news. It'll work. And maybe like a month or so, it'll be very good news for you. Yep. Wow, so Pamela even got in some of those, I guess they were Walmart exclusive 4K Blu-ray DVD digital code combo packs of The Untouchables, The Hunt for Red October, and Escape from LA. That is really awesome to see. Again, Pamela gets in the most weird, crazy, bizarre, awesome stuff at her store. I, I was not expecting to see those, not already anyway, maybe like in a 
couple of months or next year they would start showing up, but she already has those here. She's only asking, it's what, $15 a piece on those? Yep. That's, I love this store. Oh, and I'm also loving the fact that she has, well, Freaks and Geeks, the complete series on Blu-ray. That's really cool, but I already have that. However, I don't have Fall yet. I almost picked up Fall the other day at Target on DVD because I had a gift card. I really wanted to see the movie, but I thought, you know what? No, there is a Blu-ray release out there. I'll eventually find it at some point on Blu-ray, and right there it is. So I need the keys, Pam. I'm, I'm getting Fall. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the video game movie dome, but I know what you guys are wondering. What's going on with all the, the anime? I did not even look at it. I did not talk about it. I did not mention that I'm going to be picking any of it up. What I'm going to do is have Pamela take photos of everything for me. Instead, instead of going through my, my phone and going onto my website and trying to like look and see what, what it is I need, what it is I don't need, I'm just going to have her take photos. I'm going to, I'm going to get home. I'm gonna look through my collection, try to figure out what I need, what I don't need, what I want the most, get some prices. I'll figure it out at a later date and time and she can put some stuff on hold for me. So that's, I think, the smart move for all the anime because there is a lot to go through and I just don't have it in me to go through 375 million anime releases. S seriously, that's insane. And that's not everything. She's got more, she's got more anime in a case up front as well. It's, it's crazy, but anyway, that's it. I have $8 of store credit left, so I couldn't really buy any anime if I wanted to. So we're gonna, we're gonna just call it quits. But as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop, for fun <laughs> daily adventures. And also check down below for links to all the Pamela stuff, her YouTube channel, her Facebook page. Again, if you guys want anything you see here, Pamela will ship it to you for $5, whether it's one thing or the entire stack, $5 flat rate shipping. Awesome, amazing. And she has so much cool stuff as you saw from this video. So if you're looking for stuff, if you're looking for stuff and if you want something, hit up Pamela. She'll send it to you for a great price. So check down below for all those links. Also check down below for our link to- Sharks and Monsters fan on Instagram. All right, I'm gonna go grab myself a, a face mask now because everybody's coughing in here. Sorry, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.